whatever you guys know how to thread a needle if you're watching this i hope you know how to thread a needle hi i'm sharon and welcome to episode 14 of the sampler style floss tube hi everybody and welcome to episode 14 it is may 11th it is wednesday and Let's get right into it. Today I have 10 things that I like to use when I'm stitching, 10 tools, maybe 11, we'll see. <laughs> I'm shooting for 10. I have some things over here to show you. I have three works in progress to show you and I have a little bit of haul. So first things first, I want to show you my Winter Rose Manor again because I felt like it didn't, the filming last week or two weeks ago really didn't give a great representation of Winter Rose Manor and I got a new camera. This camera has much better color representation. We're now in 4K, so we're extra crispy. So I'm going to show you Winter Rose Manor, which I finished for the last episode again. And I think the colors are going to show up so much better. So here she is. Winter Rose Manor. In case you didn't watch last week, I used pretty much all the called for except um, this dark red here I had a substitution so if you want to know exactly what I used you can email me um, sampler style floss tube at gmail.com is my email okay so let's get into the 10 things that I pretty much can't live without well, I can live without some of them. I'm going to be traveling in a few weeks, and I'm not going to be bringing all 10 things with me. So, yeah, let's start. Also, last week I showed you some things that I can't live without when I'm stitching. And they're the bigger things, like I showed you my frame, I showed you a light, and um, yeah, I showed you all of that kind of stuff. So this week I'm showing you the smaller things. So the first thing I want to show you is needles. I use two types of needles. I use Bowen and Peacemakers. Peacemakers are my favorite by far. However, I use Bowen if I'm going to use two strands held together because um, I use a 28 needle and the two strands do not fit in to the Peacemaker 28. I'm sure they would fit into the 26 because it's a bigger eye. It doesn't fit into the 28. So if I'm going, and I like a 28, so I use the Bow Bowen needles. So these are my favorites. I love the Peacemakers. They're a little bit shorter and I think a little bit easier to manipulate with my fingers. However, your mileage may vary. with the type of needle that you like. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that's what I enjoy. Second thing, needle threaders. I am a relatively new stitcher, maybe stitching about two years, seriously. I cannot thread a needle without a needle threader. It just doesn't happen for me. And since I just had um, cataracts put in, cataract uh, lenses put in, I can't see up close. So I d definitely need a really good threader with a good pair of glasses, magnifiers. So I got these off of Amazon. I will link them down below. They're just a basic needle threader with a wire attached. And I really like them. They work very well for me. So they just have your basic little 
doohickey, you know, that you stick the needle through, whatever. You guys know how to thread a needle. <laughs> if you're watching this, I hope you know how to thread a needle. And again, I just got them on Amazon. I think this came, let me look. This is a pack of, this was a pack of 30. I have three left. I probably should order more. I gave some to my daughter and I keep them in travel bags. And you know, I mean, sometimes these are actually really sturdy. I've had them break on me. These generally don't break, um, but you know, they get kind of bendy. So, you know, you toss them, whatever. But um, I've, let's see, I got these about a year and a half ago and I love them. They're awesome. Next thing scissors. I know from watching floss tube that many floss tubers and probably many of you have a scissor addiction. Now I'm a knitter and I already loved scissors even before I started stitching. So I had about three good pairs of embroidery scissors even before I started stitching. But those are, um, they're dedicated knitting scissors and they live in my notions bag. So I generally stitch at my desk. So I have collected a few. I actually don't have as many as others, but anyway. This is my travel pair and the brand is Studio Carta. And I got these at a museum that my daughter and I went to. The, it was the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. And we had gone to a um, quilting exhibit there. And they had these scissors for sale. And I picked them up. And they're a great reminder of my, my trip. So I love these. And when I travel, I use this bag which is a handmade leather bag made by Sandy by the Lakeside. I will put a link to her down below. She generally makes knitting bags for knitting or all purpose bags, but I love this. It's so well made and I keep these in here and they're my travel scissors because they, well, I think I maybe spent like 30 or $40 on them. They're a really good pair. They have a really nice tip on them. They're perfect for travel. And I put them, I had an old pair of embroidery scissors in here, and I just put these in here so they don't poke things. Okay, so as far as my desk scissors, I have three pairs of Dovos. And I purchased a couple of them before Dovo went out of business, and now they're out of business. So you can still find them, probably on eBay, um, maybe some... Stitching stores that don't have a big online presence may have them. So anyway, so this is my silver pair, one of my silver pairs, and I love them. They're beautiful. I can't remember where I got these. Um, these are from the Silver Needle and they're a specialty pair. Same size. They're slightly pointier than my silver ones and they're good for like ripping. You know, you can really get under underneath for ripping and whatnot. So these are really pretty, pretty scissors. And my most recent recent acquisition was from 1812 Stitchery. And she had purchased a bunch of Dovos, I guess, wholesale. Like they were, they were getting rid of them and had a sale and they sold out within minutes. And I snagged a pair of four inchers. These babies are sharp. Holy moly, you guys. The, I don't know if you can see this point. It is insane. It is sharp. Sh 
sharpest pair of scissors that I own. They're incredible. So if I really want to get in there when I rip, I can use these. These are great. Speaking of ripping, along the same lines, I have a, a good seam ripper, although I should probably replace it because they do dull. So if you're a sew sewist, you have these. But this one's a nice sharp one. And I use that when I rip, and I do rip a lot. Okay, moving right along, this is number five. I have this whiteboard. It's not magnetic, so the magnets are all on the back. I have this whiteboard, and this holds all of my needle minders. And like all of you, I like to match my needle minders to my stitching. And that brings us to item number six, which is needle minders. I like the wooden ones, and I like these really good mag magnetic ones. And... This one, this one, this one, and I think I have a couple more, are from Mad for Minders on Etsy, and she has a lovely store. Along with that, I have these. I don't even know what these are called, <laughs> you guys. I have no idea what they're called. So, um, they hold my fabric in place when I need to, you know, when it's kind of dangling off my frame, I use them to kind of hold it on. If you want a tutorial on this, leave a comment down below and let me know because I can do that for you. I'm thinking of redoing my floss drop tutorial because the one I did is very long and I want to shorten it up a bit. And I got some um, floss drop winders, so maybe I'll redo that and then show the, um, the, the magnet minders for my fabric. Okay. Next, floss drops. I love floss drops. And... I don't like making them. I don't like paper crafts, and that's okay. It's just not my thing. Uh, so I just buy them. And these are from Access Commodities. They have a nice big circular hole and the other hole for a ring. They come with a ring, which is really cool. And pretty much all the stitching stores will have them. So I'll put a link to them down below. And these are what I use for DMC. The other flosses come with their own little tag, so I just usually use those. Okay, we are almost to the end. Next, measuring. So I have a corner measure, and these are very useful. You can get them in a lot of stitching swords. You can make your own. And this is a four inch, three inch? Hold on, let me check. This is a three inch, and you just put it up in your corner and it'll make sure you have three inches on each side. However, I always measure before I start. I do a full, I lay out my fabric, especially if it's a big project, and I do my math calculations and I use a measuring tape. This is just a garment measuring tape. I have several. <laughs> I'm a knitter. I have several measuring tapes. So, yeah, measuring tape. And last but not least, if you watch this channel at all, you know that I do not stitch from paper patterns. I stitch from an app, and that app is Good Notes, and you can see all of my cross-stitch patterns right here on the app. It is so easy. And I use, I generally use my phone to, to stitch, so I have a stylus that I use with my phone um, to mark off patterns. And I'll, I'll show you an example of that. Um, this is a, I'll just blow it up. So this is a pattern that I'm working on right now, and you can see 
I just mark it off as I go. It just makes things so much easier and I love it. If I, um, if I use my iPad, then I use the Apple Pencil, but the Apple Pencil does not work on the phone, which is fine. So that is it, you guys, for my favorite stitching tools. Okay, next. So when I last left you, I was working on Modern Folk Embroidery's um, year-long stitch along for 2022. And I finished, after we recorded, I finished the April Clue and just about I think I have a little bit of the border left but here she is this project is gorgeous look at it this is definitely one that I measured measure 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 <laughs> very important so yeah here it is so I will slowly show this to you this is stitched on a piece of 40 count picture this plus legacy color it's got just the right amount of modeling I think it's gorgeous the floss is NPI um, one of the blacks, like 937, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I think it's linked down below. And I love stitching on it. It's fantastic. And as soon as I finish some milestones on what I'm working on in May, I will um, pick this up and do the May clue. The May clue is pretty tiny, so it's very doable. Okay, it is May. Some people in the cross stitch world do mania where they do lots of starts, but I am not all about that. So I've decided to use mania to finish up things. And I have a beautiful project that's been sitting for two years. I'll explain to you why I haven't worked on it, but you've seen it before. This is The Hound and the Hare by Modern Folk Embroidery. It is stitched on a piece of 32 count picture this plus I always forget the name of it I'll put it down below but it's beautiful I pick my own colors he has it stitched in red for the model and I just pick my own colors and I love the cabling on here because I'm a knitter again and so the cabling drew me in and the animals love it so um I love this piece and I did all of this cabling so right here I have the alphabets a little more cabling and I will be finished so I'll put a picture of the chart well the picture of the project in here so you can see and I should be able to finish this in May which is very exciting this cable though it you can't look at the pattern as you're stitching to follow the chart you have to look at the chart because it changes it's not the same from this side to this side it's I had to double check and check and double check so I'm, I'm like wait why is there five stitches here and there's only three on this side anyway but it's right so I love it let me give you a nice close-up of her And I'm very happy with it. The only thing is, actually, I'm stitching it with two strands. And that's why I'm using the Bem Boehm needles. I had to dig them out. I had some left, thankfully. And I, didn't, I don't really mind stitching with two strands on 32. I know a lot of people stitch with two strands on 36. It's just so tight for me. I don't care for it. So I'd prefer to stitch. I've done it. This is stitched with two strands on 36. It looks beautiful. 
there's great coverage, but it's, it's very tight. <laughs> and I'm not the neatest stitcher in the world. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not. So, but it, this looks good. I'm happy with it. But I don't think I'll stitch with two strands on 36 again. I would prefer to stitch with one. It's just per personal preference. And the very last thing I worked on this last couple weeks, I picked up and got. This chart is stunning. I love it. So I'm stitching and got on 36 count picture this plus Heartland. And I did a lot of this last summer next to my pool. And then I put it away because I was doing some fall stitching. So here she is. I am probably almost three quarters of the way finished with this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this week I did this flower where my finger is wagging here. And I did this bird here. And I did all of this left border. We went to visit our daughter. She just bought a house in Massachusetts and she loves it and we were visiting and I did the border while I was there. Easy stitching on 36 count. And it's gorgeous you guys. I am thrilled with her. Here are the flosses for Ann Gott. She's beautiful. Love these colors. I got this kit from the attic. I had the fabric, but I got the flosses and the kit from the attic. I think you can buy it from any needle workshop now. I think it's been, I think it's in wide release from market this year. Okay. That is all the stitching that I have done. Let's talk about haul. So I am in the Treehouse Fiber Arts LFA Linens Club. We got we got our April shipment and it is called Schooner. And it is stunning. It is I'd say gold. It's a gold color. I got a 40 count hat fat half. I really have no plans for it yet, but I know that there's something's going to come along. And I will find something beautiful to stitch on it. So it's a very subtly modeled gold yellow beautiful. I love gold actually. It's one of my more favorite. Might even have a little peachy tone to it. Um, orangey, peachy, peachy. So yeah, it's one of my favorite colors and gorgeous. And the packaging, Rachel, beautiful. She sent it in a matching bag, which is so cool. I like to get, when I, I have a yarn dyeing business. I also have another channel called Knit Style, if you're interested. <laughs> Little sidebar there. Um, but when I ship out orders for people, I like to have cute bags. And so this is called Schooner, and she has bags with ships on it, and the world, and it's cool. And she also, gave us a nice 
um, beautiful blue matching red. This is a pretty blue. Wavy navy. I love a good theme. So, you guys, I love this. Thank you so much. This club is so fun. Okay, I received some floss. I am in the NPI club with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I got the neutrals this month. They're beautiful. And then Color and Cotton. This is the April Club. I'm in the Neutrals Club. And this is the May Thread Club. So that's really cool. And last but not least, I got a beautiful chart from Autumn Lane Stitchery. They have just beautiful, I want to say, they're more modern charts. They're not samplers. And I kind of wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I've been stitching samplers like crazy, and I absolutely love them. But I wanted to do something a little more colorful and dare I say, more fun. Not that samplers aren't fun, but the colors can be a little muted sometimes. So um, I got this chart, Dark Queen of the Seas. There was a stitch along for this in 2021, I think. And I missed out on it because I really wasn't aware or stitching that much. And I saw it on some floss tubes and I said, I need to stitch that. So I got the chart and I got the um, expansion pack, which comes with an alternate face and an alternate uh, a skull you could put in there. But what I really wanted was the naked boobies. <laughs> so this that says not safe for work. Uh, yeah, I could stitch naked boobies on her and I'm going to do that. I don't have any little kids living in my house <laughs> and no little kids ever visiting. So not that it really matters. I'm cool with it. And she's gorgeous and I love her. And I've been wanting to stitch a Mirabilia, but I, I didn't know what to pick, honestly. There's so many of them, and they're kind of daunting, to be honest. Not that this isn't daunting. This is a lot of stitching. But I'll just work on her a little bit at a time for fun. And she's so cool. I love her so much. And yeah, I might even dye some yarn to match. <laughs> I don't know, because I love her. Um, I have some fabric. I have 28 count fabric from Picture This Plus. I was in a club, gosh, back in 2019. And I have a bunch of fabric that would probably match. So I could get the fabric that's called for. I haven't decided. So I'm going to pull some of the threads and there's like 20 different colors in her. So I'm going to see what I have for DMC and what I don't have I'll go get. And then I'll see if I have any fabric that works. If not, I'll just purchase the fabric that was designed for her. And I think that she also has a bead pack available. And I will put that down below in the show notes. And yeah, I'm really excited. I thought this would be a fun summer start by the pool. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start her by the pool. And she'll just be a long-term fun project for me. So I didn't hate stitching with two strands on the hound in the hair as much as I thought I was going to hate it. <laughs> so I think I'll be okay with this two strands on the 28 or the 32. If I order fabric, I'll probably get 32 because she'll be a little smaller. And I, I really like the way my stitches are laying on the 32 count on this project. My stitches look pretty good. So I'll probably get a 32 if I order the kit. So we'll see. 
So uh, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed all of this that I shared with you today. Please leave a comment down below if you want to know more, have any questions. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I would love it if you would subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me and other YouTubers out. And yeah, if you like their content, you know, do that. It's free. And yeah, that is it for this week. I will see you in a couple weeks. Enjoy the spring weather. It is hot up here, let me tell you, up in the studio. I'm going to have to record downstairs, but I have a better camera now, so we should be okay. My house is kind of dark, but we'll, we'll work with it. <laughs> All right. Again, have a good week. Stitch something beautiful. And cheers. Cheers.